<laughs> now, what we're going to try to do, I'm actually going to show you guys something really cool. It's a puzzle that I couldn't figure out. It's something that I learned a long time ago. Here we go. We have these two sticks right over here. These are called, in Spanish, my mother used to call them tateketo stick. All right? <laughs> so, okay, for those of you who don't know what that means, it just means sit down. Okay? So you understand. Now, like I said, these are obedience sticks. They do exactly as I tell them. If I tell them to lay down, lay down! They lay down. It gets better, it gets better. Hold on, here we go, ready? If I tell them right here, stay. And I pull that, it stays. <laughs> Wait, now this is where it gets really confusing, because if I take the other end and pull onto it, just like that, see? Now we have one rope here a little bit shorter, one rope here a little bit longer. If I pull the short rope, that actually becomes shorter, and this one becomes longer. Ooh. Now wait. If I pull this end, now that end goes up and this one comes down. Now I know at this point you guys are probably thinking, wow, that really sucks. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want you guys to think that. I want you guys to see that there actually is no connection because sometimes people think it's connected somehow. If I spread these apart right over here, yeah, right about there, you can see. Oh wait, yeah, that got stuck. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, here. We actually have no connection there because you see if we pull this one down, that one goes up. If we pull this one down, that one goes up. Now look, I want you to see exactly how this works. If I pull this one just a little bit right about there, we now have the short one here and the long one here. So if I pull this one, that one pulls that one up. If I pull this one, that one now goes up. Now this is where it gets even weirder because if I pull this down, that comes down. Pull this down, that comes down. But if I keep pulling onto it, that one goes back up. Now this one right here, if I keep pulling that one, the other side goes up. This is where it gets really weird. Now, still at this point, I show it to people and people don't understand. They think, no, there's a logical explanation behind this. There's some way that behind his hand, there is a wire going around his body, being retracted through his leg, all the way down here, and there's a button that he presses by his nose. See, that's the explanation a lot of people think. But there's nothing connected back here, as you guys can see. Okay? There we go. Did you see? Too bad. Here. Uh, now, ready, watch. If I take this one, put it right over here, I want you to see. If I continue to pull onto it, that one actually pulls. If I pull this one again, that one goes back up. And watch. If I pull this one one more time, it still keeps going. Now, I know you guys are probably still thinking, why am I holding this so because it's very cold and my hands are cramping, okay? What I'm gonna do, if I take this and I separate them, there's still no connection to them whatsoever. Now look, this is where it gets really weird. I pull it, and they still keep going up and down. See, now it's getting better. Now I'm getting the ooh, huh? Here we go. If I pull this one one more time. Now, I did this to somebody at a kid in the middle of, you could say, uh, a, a very festive party, okay? And he came running up and Oh my god, the tate keto stick just wanted to come out. What I wanted to do is, I wanted to show him a nice, cute little magic trick, something he can enjoy. But what happened is, he just comes up and yanks the thing, and of course, that ruins the trick for everybody. I'm not the type of person to give up a magic trick, a real magic trick. So I try to think of the most convincing way that I can fix this without ruining the magic for everybody else. So I figured, if he pulled it, I should be able to continue to pull it, and that one still goes up. Oh, now, wait, 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 check this out. If I pull this one now, it still keeps continuing to go up. Now, remember, like I said, they're obedience sticks, so if I tell it, STAY, it will now stay. Now, if I were to take the one that I told to stay and go, and you come up, ready? Oh, there you go, it continues to go up. Now, if you see, I'll separate them, and this one now, if I continue to pull it, that one goes up. If I continue to pull this one, that one goes up, but after a while, see, they get very exhausted because I've been training them all day. I'm going to need some help right over here. Um, hi. Can I, can I borrow some of that hair right over there? It's not a weave, right? Okay, good. I can't see it from the... Boom. There we go. Don't worry. I got the real one. All right, here. I'll take it. Tie it right over here. Bring it down. Pull it right over here. Um, can you do me a favor, sir? Can you hold out your hand? I'm not sure if you can see the string right there, which is actually her hair. Hold it tight right there. If I pull it up just a tad bit, it actually starts fixing itself right back to normal. <laughs> guys, thank you guys very much. That is the Tati Keto Stick. All right, now at this point, I will need another...